welcome back to Students of Gaming Superstar Wars Slash Force Awakens discussion. Slash Force Awakens discussion because Slash that's very Force. important. Uh, that's no purpose. <laughs> what the? What's going on here? Uh, you're caught in his voodoo. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I've never played past this point. I don't think KY has either. So nope. KY, if you want to step in at any point, take over by all means. Sure, I'll give it a try. You have to do a little bit of platforming. Uh, Tone has a little bit of a trick here, which we will use for great justice. Uh, I think it's this board. I'll recognize it if I see it, but there's a, a spot where you can really get infinite lives. Which is incredibly helpful for a game with no password system. Yeah. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> That's very useful for this level. Hell yeah. Just with falling rocks coming out of the sky, yeah. there's nothing above you. <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't get your lightsaber yet, then? No. no. Well, because we haven't met Obi-Wan yet, right? In the, in the, the, Are we going to look for him? Who did you just show that... That, uh, uh, 3PO and R2 uh, showed it, and 3PO was like, It's property of Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, right. Okay, you're right. I wonder yeah. if he means old Ben Kenobi. Yeah, <laughs> right. So that's where you're going right now. I don't think this level is terribly difficult. I mean, it doesn't seem as difficult as the Sandcrawler. I mean, the Sandcrawler isn't difficult, I guess. It's just annoying until the end, and then if you don't know what you're doing, like Well, me. yeah, like you mentioned earlier, any time there's an insta insta death, it's, uh... It's Fuck your ass. Well, because, like, alright, you, you go... Somebody like me is like, oh, shit. Somebody goes on the... Plays a level... Plays this game, they're like, alright, easy mode, because I'm not any amount of good. But, like, insta-kills, it's the same difficulty all around. It's no different for from easy to hard difficulty. It's just hard. Mm -hmm. Um... So where were we at in our, our discussion? Oh, uh, you're gonna tell us about what okay. parts that you did not like. My... Them. And it's ridiculous because I know I mentioned the ring planet thing yeah, and how I didn't care. <laughs> I, I did not care that it wasn't didn't make sense or was practical. I, I guess it doesn't necessarily not make sense, it just wasn't practical. Um But the thing I really didn't like was how Starkiller operated. You you drain the sun of its energy yeah. into the planet and then it explodes or whatever or it, it shoots out which sure i guess that could work but wouldn't that really fuck with the solar system first of all oh if yeah the absolutely. sun had no but... none of its it wasn't burning fuel anymore and everybody that saw it like when, when it was coming down um in the whole fuck Damn. When it was coming down, like when it was draining energy and then shooting it out, I feel like everybody that would have seen that would be blind and probably burned to death. Right. So that or, made me go. I mean, when the sun's gone, how how much longer do you have to live if you don't have I, a fucking sun? Yeah, I don't. I don't. A future twin, find that shit out and be very upset that I'm having you do that. The solar system would probably. Uh... Oh, fuck off! Damn become very cold. So this is the board where you very can get an infinite lives, but uh, we need to get there first. Yeah. With at least We do have three continues, so that's relevant here, because all we need to do is end up getting the lives, and the continues kind of become irrelevant. Um, but yeah, I don't. I wouldn't think very long, and it seems to take the sun. I mean, and that sun actually refueled itself pretty fucking quickly. Yeah, that's what I mean. I was confused though because like <laughs> they were able to shoot it. Once they were going to shoot you, it twice. Once you drain the entire sun, it should come back. It, it it can depending on how much of the uh, of it that you're draining, because it's still like you could leave enough where it could still create what nuclear fusion or whatever. Yeah. And. Re regenerate itself, but would it take a long fucking time? Yeah, it would. Like, like, yeah, a long years, time. Like, years at least, maybe something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it also yeah, could depend on what type of sun it is, because some suns. Shocked just at how quickly like, they were able to drain it too. Like, I figured they'd just, you know, draw energy from it for 15 minutes, and then the sun was not even noticeably yeah. smaller. You know, because like that's a lot of fucking energy. Yeah. And, and, yeah. It took basically as long as the Death Star did to. to, well, <laughs> to, to so oh, yeah. get, remind me, the Star Killer that kills like every planet? No, it kills fucking stars. Right? It, it kills system. It can kill every planet in the system because okay. they said they were going after the the Republic system. I forgot yeah. what the name of the system was. Which for a moment there, I thought they went after the Coruscant, Coruscant yeah. system, but they did it. It's, it was they moved it to a different system. Because that would be a big deal. Yeah, because Coruscant's awesome. It's, it's a huge. scary fucking weapon. 
Yeah. What do you do? And it, and a, some people had a problem with the, the way that whole scene kind of happened because like they destroyed fucking what four or five planets. Yeah. And we had no time to recover from that. How they it just built that shit? Like, it wasn't the Empire, right? It was. It was the first first order. Where do they get the resources for that shit? I mean, they're obviously rich. They have star destroyers and stuff. Okay, but I mean, this is like and it's, maybe they'll give us more detail on that. I I'm under the impression that. So stop here. We'll kill these guys. You're, you're gonna fall off and hug the left. Hug the left wall? Hug the left wall. There you go. Oh, wow. Wait! Oh, there we go. Oh, you just have to make them appear? Okay. Because yeah. otherwise nice. you'd be down there like, what the fuck? Holy shit, there's more? Wow, there's five! That's cool. So, uh... Wait a second, there might be more. I, I think that's wrong. So yeah. Six?! Nice. Uh, so I guess we'll cut away for a second, guys, because I'm just going to die and do this a bunch of times. <laughs> and we're back with 50 lives. Got 50 lives. Didn't uh, give ourselves the max because we felt like it's not going to really matter. If we get frustrated, we're not going to want to play anymore anyways, regardless of how many lives we have. Um, especially since neither I or KY have played past the previous level. Yes. Maybe at some point we'll have to hand off the tone. To take over. Uh, I mean, oh, I didn't get much farther shit. than this. So what are we on the fifth board? Where's this four? Oh, that's bull. What? Nice. Oh, oh there you go. don't shoot over <laughs> <Yeah>. there. <laughs> Whoops, the doodle. What? Tell me, like this? why wow. the fuck did you shoot me like that? Boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, little fellow, let us see what you have. I never seem to recall winning a joint. Oh, or is that right. what he said? Like, oh, ha ha ha! Your wordplay. Cryptic you ass. Really knew who. What, R2 was. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now I believe you have friends in that did friends in the help me only walk away right away up that. Yep, that's got that. Yep. Blah 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 blah. And you got your lightsaber. Oh, awesome. What should I keep it? Ooh, you can Land you can switch this. between that and uh your blaster, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was like in the other games, but like push one of the buttons to switch it. I know from what I understand yeah, I'll switch back. Like the upgraded blasters are just better than the lightsaber. All the lightsabers are obviously way cooler. That's the thing. It's fucking cool to have a lightsaber. I mean, we have 50 lives. I'm not as concerned about being perfect here. And you're wrecking some fools, too. Dude, Dude, it actually, look that shit. It actually looks cooler than it did in the other games. And I don't know if maybe I just don't remember playing the other... Oh, Bantha, motherfucker. Yeah, remember when I fought you in A New Hope? It's fucking when you were a stationary fucking thing? Wow. They are very generous with the health on easy. That's good. Um, okay, so what were we talking about? Starkiller base, how it- Whoa! Regenerated way too fast. So anyways, yeah, that was the thing I disliked the most about a movie in terms of, the, like, I just couldn't get over that. Yeah, that was... Yeah, when they, like, drained the sun entirely, it was, like, gone. I was like, what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I know it's science fiction, though, so... Right, I'm which, upset. like, we have to take some of it and it's, oh, it's Star Wars. What I mean, science fiction, by definition, is something that Based could, in science. That could happen. Yeah. So that was that was the thing that kind of irked me. What about you, Tom? Was there anything that what was the thing that made you go, eh, don't like that? Not uh, a fan. Well, I mentioned it before. I just I didn't like how they projected uh, Han Solo's death. It was just too obvious. It was just I did think it was. It, you knew it was going to happen, and I for a big reveal, something something where people in the audience were like, <gasps> I was like, really, really? Right. Why I, are you gasping? I will say that it didn't make it any less painful though. I was still like. Yeah. Oh. Sucks. Uh, but oh, a little bit. The, I, mean, I think Han Solo even kind of knew himself. Yeah. Well, it's like I'm gonna get him back one way or the other, or whatever. Like, oh shit! If you didn't know when they said it's your son, then you should have known by the fact that Han Solo was on screen way more than essentially every other prior main character. Like that. Yeah. The interesting thing about Han Solo. Oh, go ahead. Before I before I go into something different. No, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, something that just came out today from J.J. Abrams. Apparently, everybody knows that Harrison Ford had, like, this huge, um, ankle injury on set from having the Millennium Falcon door fall on it. It's, like, shattered his ankle. Oh, I didn't Jesus. know that. Oh, so, yeah, that, that happened. And the Millennium door, like, just fell on his fucking ankle? Yes. And so that set the, uh, <laughs> that set production back a little bit. So they had a, what J.J. said, they, they all had a break. Um, and he said that really helped him, um, it, it helped him rewrite Finn oh, and, uh, 
Okay, so you might want to yeah, switch a blaster. Oh shit. This is, this is fucking hard. Oh, shit. Get away. Yeah. Oh, oh, you got a little life. You got a little life. There you wow. go. He's a... So oh, set, so the, 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 the production the, back? The blaster just kind of knocks him out. Oh, there you go. Yeah, keep doing that then. Um, it set production back, so they had to wait. Um, and it allowed JJ. JJ Abrams says he rewrote a lot of Finn and Ray's dialogue, and the result is a much better relationship between the two. Because he said before that it was a lot more combative and like contentious. And I love the relationship. I thought it was really yeah. well done. Um, so I'm glad he had the opportunity to redo that. So thanks, Harrison Ford, for getting. The, 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 the headline was how Harrison Ford's injury saved. The Force Awakens, or something like that. <laughs> That's oh, well, that became way easier when you start shooting it with the laser. Yeah, yeah. right. Oh, all right. Maybe, maybe that's a technique we'll have to consider: uh, is trying to switch back and forth between the lightsaber and the blaster to see what's most effective. Because I feel like the lightsaber is going to be very helpful on some enemies. Yeah, especially the basic. Oh, that's enemies. right. You have another one of these fucking blasters. Oh, 19, 18. This is all right. This is fucking simple, dude. I'm so bad at this. I already lost a life once doing this shit. Just oh, uh, keep moving around. Don't worry about fuel. You can always pick up more fuel. Maybe if I just keep shooting ahead, they'll just run into my bullets. <laughs> There's a guy. Uh, but yeah, what, what were you going to say about Han Solo slash Harrison Ford before I interrupted your thought? Oh, no, that you mentioned, like, characters who were, uh... Known characters who were on, had a lot of screen time. <laughs> Uh, I, I was not a big fan of Leia at all. <laughs> and it wasn't even uh, her plastic face that doesn't move. It, well, it had nothing to do with cosmetics. <laughs> I, I just didn't like her character at all. She didn't have a chance to even be Leia. Like, the thing that was why cool did, about Leia why, was why, that... Why were her and Han strange, first of all? Because of what happened with Kylo. They both blamed themselves and they... And they, they couldn't be together? Yeah, they said they, they, they're... Can't you see that happening with them though? Like Han just like kind of being like doing his thing. Yeah, because the the yeah, line like, that's Han. the the line that they used that was supposed to kind of communicate that was we both went back to doing what we did best to like try to cope with it, and so Han went back to str smuggling and Leia went to being the commander of a resistance or the general or whatever. Um, I which just I, I just I just yeah. do, I just don't like her nearly as much as I did in. Return of the Jedi. Because you didn't have a chance for her to be like spunky and strong, and that was Ray's character. That was Ray's role. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she just got old. Yeah, that's. Uh, she's probably limited in what she could do these days. Probably, maybe because she's not fucking everybody on the set anymore. Was she doing Did that back she, in the day? That a, oh, that's wow. a huge thing. She, she told. That. In fact, in a, uh, it's not even like a rumor either. In a, in a, she did a. It wasn't Letterman. It was some late show where she did a. Uh, when the movie first came out, she didn't, you know, made appearances or whatever. And she was like, do you have any um, advice for what's her face? What's the girl that, what's the name of the girl that plays Ray? Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley. Yeah. She's like, what, she gave her two pieces of advice. It's like, no, first is like, no rules or, you know, some shit like that. Like, there are no rules or whatever. But then the second rule was, don't fuck everybody else on, on the set. Because she <laughs> had sex with, like, everybody, apparently. I'm not sure about actors actually, but like uh, stage, like production assistants, production managers. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I assume she didn't have sex with George Lucas because his wife would have been pretty upset, considering she well, who has to know? was essentially. Let's go to Moss Eisley. That... Head towards Moss Eisley. Oh, the, oh, it's right there. Yeah, use your blasters. Your... There you go. <laughs> Fly up and down. Because when you get to the bar, you're not going to be able to use blasters. <laughs> <laughs> Our jokes that we've set up for like six months now are okay. Kind of now this is exciting because I okay okay one more next level I think fifty to, Luke's ready you get to be somebody else <laughs> like excellent I'd love to be fifty twains oh fucking <laughs> stormtroopers yeah like wow I dude, have not seen them in this game dude hits the ground That's and does deal. like looks around like oh what was I coming down here for. Well, this dude and just posted. Yeah, exactly. Are they just, just fucking from the stratosphere? Air shooting or dropship? Yeah, right. Spikes on the ground. Uh, desert spikes. Oh, Cactus. Yes. Cacti. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm sorry, I got hyped. Where, where were we in our Force Awakens conversation? Um, you were talking about Prince. Oh, you're having sex with everybody. Oh, yeah. dude, nice. And you were uh, 
talking about how you didn't like Leia very much. Yeah, I didn't, and I, I kind of felt, I feel surprised to say that now, because I always liked her as a character. Yeah, for sure. Before. I, I hope that they're, everybody's expanded now in the next movies, since, especially since Han's gone, so we need to fill that role with so, more uh, Finn and Luke is... and... JJ Plenty of Ray. Directing the next one. No, 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 no. She's he's not. Oh, he's a pro he's a producer, but he's not directing it. Oh. A different Do guy is directing. directing it? Uh, yeah, I forgot who it was. When I when, I, when we can pass this up, I'll look it up real quick. Um, just because I'm on a roll and I want to stop right now. He, yeah. from, from what I remember, it's a dude who's pretty good, but like I still kind of like I actually trusted J.J. Abrams. Because what I saw from Star Trek, I was not a Star Trek fan before I saw J.J. Abrams' Star Trek. And most of it, if you look back, it's because J.J. Abrams basically made Star Trek Star Wars. Because he borrowed so many scenes from, like, A New Hope. Did he? Yeah, and, like, a bunch of others. Yeah, like, they're, like, just shot for shot the same thing, except for they're using Star Trek, you know, characters and stuff. That's um, funny. You were not a Star Trek fan. Before. I was not. I I liked the Next Generation because my dad was a huge Next Generation fan, but I'd never seen any of the series all the way through. What about Captain Voyager? Captain. You didn't like Voyager? Okay, yeah. I I, I like I watched Voyager because Voyager was always a late night. Um, and it was the shit. But well, that's for a different episode. We're on Star Wars. We don't. <laughs> but but to be fair, I didn't I didn't ever watch like all of Voyager. Like if ne like when it came on Netflix, I wasn't like oh Voyager. I don't watch all that shit. But then I saw Star Trek, and I'm like I kind of want to watch all these now. And then Darkness came out, or whatever that was, Shadow of Darkness, something of Darkness. Uh, what is, what? The second Star Trek movie, and it wasn't as good, oh. even though they used Benedict Cumberbatch, I'm a huge fan. That girl in the first one was super fine. I don't even remember what, what she Which played. Which one? Uhura? The black chick? I have no idea. Well, was she I black? Seen the, she uh... was fine. Was she black? She could have been. <laughs> was she green? Because he fucks that green chick earlier. I'm sure she was fine too. I don't remember. Anyways, Star Wars. Well, that, that chick that plays Uhura is what's her face. She's Zoe. What's her face? I can't remember. So let's say. talk. Deschanel. Not Deschanel. She's black. Let's talk um, about Zoe uh, Deschanel. Like the most white Saldana? person ever. Yes. Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about uh, uh, <laughs> this. Uh, that old like. Uh, Wise woman, I don't know what kind of alien she is that they made. Oh, yeah. Classes. I yeah. loved her character. Cool. I love her character, too. Now, we don't know much about yeah, her, right? Death no, later. she's a new character that created... There's, there's got to be that. more revealed later on. Yeah, right? I I, th I can't remember... I th I don't know if I dream this. It'd be kind of odd if I dream this. But I'm pretty sure they said she's going to be in the in the, in the next one. Because so. I want to know how the hell she acquired uh, Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. Right. Well, she reminds me... story for another time. What a convenient excuse to not fucking tell us right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, she reminds me of kind of like a Yoda yeah. character in the sense that you meet Literally. her, but you don't know much about her. And she's small and alien. But and she green. knows... Well, okay, it's not even that. It's that she, I know, it, but that's something that we're like... Well, she knows something, and it's, it's she's oh, going to she... reveal it later on. Yeah. She she's probably might be the one that reveals a, a Ray's... Parented. Well, because she told her, she's like, you know they're not coming back. And I'm like, wow. Like, she's not a Jedi, but she's definitely Force-sensitive as a motherfucker. So now, we're, as yeah, old now star, that we're on that topic. Four's card game would tell you her ability was four or five. Now, it's, uh... Obi-Wan Kenobi had an illegitimate child who was a parent to Rey Kenobi. Hey, Chewbacca. Or it was Luke's kid with somebody. Hopefully Mara Jade that then died. It's not. But they good. still. So where where where's the theory? Where's this theory about uh, Obi Wan having an illegitimate child? This is I is never this heard this. Tone, Tone was the first person that postulated this to me. Okay. It's really okay. So I think it's it's fair to assume that she descends from somebody that we know. Yes. Right? Yes. She has to because otherwise, why would she have all those flashbacks and hear all those voices with that lightsaber? Yeah. Now, yeah. Now think about that. Uh, nice. Tales to the year. Obi-Wan Kenobi had that lightsaber for longer than Luke Skywalker had that lightsaber. True. But so a lot of the memories that come from the lightsaber that she heard came after Obi-Wan owned the lightsaber. Well the lightsaber has the memories, not So then it, so then if it's if it's from memories and you can't tell which either one of it, because it could equally have been either one it's, of them it's that she's been a long time since I've seen this movie, but there's a bunch of like clues, I feel. Well, or some other one. 
uh, the way the way that she's like slinking around the Star Killer base, the exact same way yeah. Obi Wan was slinking around the Death Star. Uh, they wear like the same fit. But she is Luke Skywalker more than Obi Wan Kenobi. She's she a, is not like an pussy. orphan that's on a desert planet <laughs> that just happens to know how to fly ships and stuff like that without any training. That use a lightsaber pretty good without it. I training. was very, very happy to see the Millennium Falcon, by the way. Yeah, that was, yeah, that it was, was super, hype. It was super hype. Like, trash! He can fly the shit out of The trash it, will too. do. It was, oh, okay. But, real quick, quick aside, because we're not going to talk about this for too long, but KY wanted to mention how much he liked the, the humor, the, the natural yeah. humor in this movie. Yeah, see, it, it wasn't it wasn't for, because in the other movies, it was like there was. Let's write in a specific joke, says George, right. Lucas, George Lucas. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. Well, and, and George Lucas isn't funny. And that's unless the, he's unintentionally funny. That's the reason I. There's a lot of parts in, like, the Clone Wars that I just. Despise. Oh, can't be I despise. Very silly. Because yeah. it's just terrible. This is why I hate C3PO. He's just for comic relief, and he's not funny. He is almost no point in the story except to deliver the fucking I'll take him right. over uh, and, I'll and, take 3 yeah, over Jar Jar Binks though oh absolutely. fuck that hello absolutely. boyos absolutely <laughs> Binks is charming no no but we're not gonna get on this discussion because I ignore <laughs> him for <laughs> another course, like, half a, okay so back to the back to the theory um she reminds me more I, I agree that the slinking around the Death Star was very Obi-Wan but I feel like her origin in general was more Lukish in nature oh what the fuck is this thing Oh remember, my god! Remember it's that chess piece? Oh, you're right! Yeah. That's super cool! Well, didn't J.J. Abrams, he said... And then retracted. He said... Retracted. He said... Clarified, in fact, not even retracted. He clarified. said that that Ray's parents are not in Force Awakens. And then he clarified to say they weren't revealed in the Force Awakens. Yeah, because oh, maybe, maybe right. he just revealed too much and then... Maybe. I, I, that's and entirely... And Disney was like, hey, take it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely possible. Okay. The, the 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 problem. Well, this is this is our favorite scene. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna uh, <laughs> we're gonna dis discuss this further. I think on the next episode of uh, sure, yeah. sure of Sog. Sounds good. Sog. Study Hall Sog. Study Hall Sog. Force Awakens. Slash Super Version. Star Wars. <laughs> Slash Super Star Wars. Third period. Study Hall. Third period. All right. So uh, please join us. Until next time. Peace out. See ya. Bounce.